Hey guys, if you've never seen me before, you don't follow me, my name is Lizbeth. I share my personal style, fun DIYs, and my love for easy beauty on YouTube, my blog, Instagram, pretty much all over the place. You can catch me, so I will link everything below if you want to follow me. And I have five packing tips for you babes. If you are a fashion lover or a fashion blogger like myself, Traveling and packing can get a bit frustrating and there's overweight fees. You can get disorganized and it's very frustrating when you love fashion and you just want to dress well and you just want to look good on your trip. But there's so many different things that come into play when you're packing and I have five tips for you babes that help me pack and help me not pay overweight fees. Trust me, I've paid so much money in overweight fees as well as help me stay prepared and make sure I have everything I need without overpacking and a couple tips on how I stay organized. So if you want to know those five tips, then keep watching. So tip number one, I feel like is super basic and y'all know it, but checking the weather. Checking the weather is so, so, so important. It could totally make or break your trip. And I've just found, I like being prepared. I like having a jacket when I need a jacket. I like having denim options. I like having different shoe options. I like to know what I need to pack. Every environment is so different. You know, LA, where I live, is a lot different than where I'm headed. I'm headed out to England and I'm headed out to Germany. So, you know, having the right shoes, the right jackets is so, so, so important. So I love looking at my phone. I love that we have this weather app, the Apple phone, and I will look at what the weather is going to be for the week. I also, as you can see, have traveled a lot of a lot of different places on here, saved on my phone, which I love because it just shows me all the places I've been and I love seeing where I've been and adding where I'm going. So I I just find looking at the weather is so important. You want to be prepared. You want to have everything you need. And it just helps you be mindful of not overpacking things you don't need. If weather doesn't need a teddy bear coat, then you know, and you don't have to overpack that or carry that. Out. Tip number two, I need a list. I need to have a list of what I need so I can cross it out. I actually like to use my notes app in my phone and have that saved. So that's like as my reference always have that and I actually like to write it down as well or you don't need to write it down but I like to have three categories beauty clothes and technology technology you might or might not need but I do because I film a lot of videos create a lot of content so I want to make sure I have batteries chargers cords my laptop just like all the necessities I need so I find that having my reference my go-to of what I need to make sure and then if you like to cross things out like I do write it down on a piece of paper and you can just cross it out. I have a bullet journal as well that I like to cross out so I find that to be very helpful to have a list of my necessities, my go-to products, what I want to bring, my items that I want to bring. And to add to this, I also love creating inspiration boards either through Pinterest or Instagram. Instagram has this collection feature where you can save images. I will label it Europe or wherever I'm going and just start saving and collecting different outfits I like from different bloggers, different pictures I've seen from the explore page so I will save that all and just like reference it and you know see what styles and pieces I want to bring I love experimenting when I travel different styles and vibes so I just love having a reference sometimes it's great to look up the location and a lot of people tag the specific city they're at and you can kind of see what the style is a reference to kind of see what I need to bring you know what's going to be appropriate how to dress appropriate I just love using it for inspiration to put my outfits together blogging isn't your thing or you're not super into fashion but you want to have a nice style it's really frustrating and just stressful to look at your closet and find outfits that you want to wear it's so much easier to like look at a picture and be like, oh, I like the way that blouse is styled. I like the way those jeans are styled. Oh, I love that dress. Maybe I want to get a similar dress. I love having, you know, an inspiration board, just pictures as reference to find out what the style and the vibe is. And it's just so, so helpful. So I love lists and inspiration boards. So tip number three is a game changer. Packing cubes sounds so simple, sounds so basic. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a new thing for you, but these are so, so, so helpful. Mine are from Cowpack. They gifted them to me and they're their new rose gold collection. It's faux leather, super chic. And this is my rose gold suitcase. So I love, love, love that. But packing cubes, you guys, just keep your suitcase organized. It keeps everything just so fuss free and not much of a hassle totally recommend them to you guys. You kind of look at them like dresser drawers. All of your drawers are organized with your specific item of clothing. You have your undergarments, you have your pajamas, you have your denim, you have your tops, your workout clothes. 
these packing cubes are like your drawers. You can organize each cube for each specific clothing of item. So I have my pajamas, I have my tops, my jeans, everything gets so organized. What's amazing is they come with these little labels that you can take out, you can write them yourself, but CalPack has downloadable labels that you just have to print and cut out, makes it so much easier. They have three different fonts, which is cool. They have like a really pretty script font, they have a serif font, but I went with the bold font. I like bold and I want it to pop out. So you cut them out and you just slide them in. It makes packing so much more chic and organized. Like this one's my pajamas and it's just so nice to not have a messy suitcase, a disorganized suitcase. So use them to pack your like looks together. That's awesome. You can even label it like what country you're going to, which is helpful, or wherever you're traveling to. But I decided to keep it all separate. Keep my tops with my tops, my denim with my denim, my bottoms and dresses. Keep everything separate so I can mix and match. And I find mixing and matching very, very helpful too. You don't have to overpack. I have paid so much in overweight fees and it's so frustrating because that money takes out of your travel money that you want to use. I've definitely spent 200 or more euros on a trip before just my suitcase to the country I was going to are such a game changer. You can use one for your dirty clothes or fill them up but what's awesome too in case you don't have an extra cube because I never have an extra cube to keep for dirty clothes they have this back zipper that you can put your dirty clothes in so you can keep your clean and dirty clothes separated and it's all organized but these are such a lifesaver. It helps me fit everything. It helps me see everything so I'm not overpacking. It just is so nice to just have everything folded, put away, separated. Maybe you don't like your shoes touching your clothes. Well, these will be very helpful. I also have one zipper pouch that is actually lined. This is great if you are going to a destination with pools or beaches and maybe right before a flight you want to go take a dip but your bathing suit's wet toss that in, you'll be fine, it won't wet your other clothes, or you can use it for beauty products, liquids, because it is double lined and it's waterproof inside, good to go, you don't have to worry about those plastic baggies, and or you can, again, use it for other garments, you can use it for your dirty clothes, but I find using it for my beauty products to be super helpful. Click mine below if you are interested, but my must-have item is definitely these packing cubes. My packing cubes lead me to tip number four, and Packing everything in a cube kind of sounds a little, oh my gosh, I'm going to get everything in, but this tip that I have for you is another game changer, is rolling your clothes, you guys. When you roll your clothes, I mean, it just looks so much neater, so much more chic, but it fits so much more because when you fold it regularly, it like stacks a certain way, so much more space, but rolling your clothes and putting them together is so, so easy. I do that with my denim, I do that with my tops and blouses, big shoulder blouses like this white one you can easily fold up. And I have so many tops in here, I'm like covered, I have everything I need for the 10 day trip that I'm heading out on. A helpful technique when it comes to packing, all you have to do is fold your item. I like to fold it this way, fold it in half and then another half and then roll it up. Super easy. And when it comes to pants, I like to roll from the bottom because I find that it's a little bit more compact than rolling it from the waist down. So I'll roll from the legs up and I just find it to be a little bit more compact, a little bit easier. So rolling your clothing, you guys, so, so, so helpful. Helps keep everything neat, helps you see everything you're bringing, helps you just fit everything you need and everything you want to bring. So I highly recommend rolling your clothes and rolling them in a packing cube. And now for my final tip, tip number five. When you are, you know, fashion lovers, they have their designer bags. And I, this tip, I just find it to be so valuable, especially if you don't want to lose your valuables. Packing all of the expensive items, your jewelry, designer bags, or you know whatever things that are priceless to you, pack them in your carry-on suitcase, whatever suitcase or your backpack that you're bringing. I always pack my designer bags, and another tip my mom shared with me is packing designer bags within each other so it kind of compacts and saves space for you. So I packed my Gucci fanny pack within my Louis Vuitton purse, and I put that in a bag and I have it. So yeah, keep your valuables with you. The airport, they look in your luggage, they see a nice thing and they will steal it. Hasn't happened to me yet, knock on wood. Just be careful and mindful. I definitely don't want you guys losing things and with my love for fashion and I have really great pieces and I'm sure you guys have pieces that you don't wanna lose either. Definitely carry them with you onto the airplane so you know you have a sense of ease when you travel and nobody's gonna steal things from you. So yeah, 
Those are my five tips that this fashion lover uses when it comes to packing. It helps me pack just so much more easily and I'm just always prepared for these trips. I never have to run to the store to buy something because I didn't miss something because I was prepared. So yeah, I hope you like these tips. Be sure to follow me. I will link all my channels below. And if you want to see some of my next destinations, be sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.